Hello everyone, welcome to Mac One Design EMC channel. Recently, I was helping a client um, on some of their um, products and turned out uh, the product has some structure resonance issue. And structure resonance issue is a common issue um, on board design. Lots of designers uh, were not aware, but when they sent the product for EMC testing, they failed reduced emission or reduced immunity test and it's most likely um, they have some structure resonance that caused the problem. So I thought um, it's probably a good idea to demonstrate some of the troubleshooting techniques I was using to find where which part of the board has a uh, resonance issue. And uh, the demonstration is simple and uh, quite straightforward. You can uh, set up your own test um, at a very low cost. And uh, this serves a very unique and uh, efficient way of troubleshooting can save you lots of time. Um, in fact, all these techniques are nothing new. Lots of EMC consultants, uh, experienced ones, have talked about this in the past, um, but I didn't see many uh, demonstrations on YouTube, so uh, it's a good chance of uh, showing this. So what we got here is we have a, a directional coupler from mini circuits. This, this device, I can't remember the cost of it, but uh, it's less than 100 US dollars. Um, and you can see the way we connected uh, this directional coupler is that the output of the directional coupler is, in, is connected to the tracking generator source of the spectrum analyzer. And then uh, the coupling uh, output connected to the uh, RF input of the spectrum analyzer. And the input of this device is connected to a, a small magnetic loop we made ourselves. As you can see, there's nothing uh, fancy about it. It's just like a uh, conducted wire with insulation uh, on, on the outside. And uh, so what does it do? Basically, is we're using the uh, spectrum analyzer tracking generator function doing a, a frequency scan. And when we, were, when we are doing the frequency span, uh, scanning, what the spectral analyze does is to send um, a, a variable frequency RF energy uh, through the tracking generator and trying to receive it. And what this setup does is all the energy basically is directed um, by this directional coupler to this um, little loop. And if you have nothing to absorb that RF energy, then most of the energy will be reflected back and then this will be registered by the spectral analyzer. So as a result, you will see a flat line indicating the energy you send out is pretty much the same as the energy you receive. However, if you have something that can really absorb this RF energy, then what it will show on the spectral analyzer is, is going to be a dip. And that dip indicates at that certain frequency, you have an energy loss and that energy loss is most likely due to some structure that has the resonance frequency that can absorb that energy. So um, let's do a very quick um, demonstration. So the first is we, we, we enable tracking generator on. As you can see here, we have some ripples, so I need to uh, normalize it. So now we have a flat line, as I explained. So the flat line indicates all the energy comes out, reflected back, okay? Let's have a look at this simple demonstration. We have a, a bank card uh, for this demonstration. Uh, of course, I need to uh, cover the important information here. But the bank cards usually have an RFID. And the way RFID works is that it has a resonance frequency, isn't it? So very simple. So if we put this loop on the, uh, on the uh, bank card, as you can see here, put it on the bank card, we have multiple resonance points here. The first resonance point we had is at um, uh, 400 megahertz, about 550 megahertz. So that's the main resonance point. Um, so, and then we have other multiple resonance points uh, of the RFID. So this indicates this, this device actually will uh, resonate lots of energy particularly at 0.2, which is 550 megahertz. Okay, 
So um, the next demonstration is uh, even fun. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to disconnect this now. So I still have the uh, uh, magnetic loop. But now this time I'm going to connect to this little RF amplifier here. Okay, so I'm going to put in this RF amplifier. And uh, this also is another uh, technique. If you don't have a spectrum analyzer with a tracking generator and you don't have a directional coupler at hand, but if you know where your circuit has problem, then uh, say if you know your, 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 your circuit failed at a certain frequency and you have a, happen to have a, a oscilloscope and a, a, a RF generator, you can do the same thing. So this is um, how we're going to demonstrate it. So we have a RF um, uh, source here, generates some noise. We know that this circuit will resonate very strongly at 550 megahertz, okay? So um, I put 500, 50, 550 megahertz, okay? So now this generates some strong RF signals. And I, if I put in here, and I have another loop, very similar structure, okay? But I have another loop and I connect it to an oscilloscope. So what we're going to do is I'll put in here, as you can see, that the uh, receiving loop receives lots of energy. As you can see, uh, it, it has about three or four divisions showing on the uh, oscilloscope, okay? Um, and yeah, this is where when I move this loop, you can see some, sometimes you, when you move really close to the resonance point, it resonates really, really uh, uh, strongly. Uh, now, so we know that's because I'm hitting the 550 megahertz. So if now I'm, I'm changing the frequency to say 250 megahertz, okay? So now I'm changing 200, uh, 250 megahertz. I'm, supplying 250 megahertz and then see the difference. So I put in here, still the same position, and I put the little loop, same, same position, as you can see. Not so much, not so much compared with fi uh, 550 megahertz, which is where uh, the, the board uh, resonates the strongest. So there you go, demonstrates that um, this, this structure resonates at uh, 550 megahertz.